Easy peeps, welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How are we all doing? Hope everyone is okay. Hit that thumbs button, my friend. Thumbs button, thumbs up button, my friend. Right. Now, yesterday we spoke who should we replace. We had loads of different possibilities and permutations of who we should actually go for. And you can see who we actually managed to go for. Now, whether it stays like this or not, I don't really know. But I just thought, because of the way that Pier Monte Calcio is going to be in FIFA next year, the, the hype, the vibe won't be so much around him. He's going to lose cover star status. Everything isn't gearing towards Ronaldo as it has so many years on FIFA. So let's try and see out with him. We paid 3.18 million coins for him, which I think is... A bargain is a bit of a different word. Not a bargain. is an okay deal, right? I don't know if it's a bargain. Hopefully, we won't lose too much if we do, do decide to sell him. I know a lot of people think he's too clunky for the way that FIFA 19 needs to be. I know there's a few people that just think he's utterly and utterly broken. But we haven't tried him for ourselves this year except for in draft. So I just think bringing him in... It kind of makes sense. Now, to get full chem, we do have to start the lineup like this. But that's not the way that it will be playing in game. And we're going to do some testing and tweaking. But we're probably going to start with either Umbop on the left or Ronaldo on the left. And then Umbop or Ronaldo on the right. With Aubameyang in kind of that up and down cam position. Which I don't know if that's his best position. Um, and I don't know whether Umbop's better on left or right and stuff like that. So again, this weekend league, I've got no major desire to push hard and finish at like a, quite a high level. So we're just going to tweak things and test it and see how we go. Right then, let's catch up with a few things. So obviously we've got the flashback Danny Alves. Now, this is, this is pretty much a, a decent deal. But we won't use this card because he's not our kind of right back. So he is a 90 rated card. So the only reason we would do this would be to get a 90 rated card in. This is roughly give or take the team that we would need to submit it. Because an 83 team is needed. But he's literally only going to be done for SBC fodder. Now because we've got players like this, Juve and stuff like that are selling because of... Um, other SBCs I'm not going to submit that team at the moment because we're going to have a look at what they released last night and we've we no desire to do them for actually playable purposes they're only for SBC purposes so let's just see if we can grind a few things here and there pick up some pick up some cards that may be able to go into them so I think we might do the Danny Alves but if we do it'll be a bit like Peter Crouch where it's literally for SBC fodder now, what we will do is we will do this week's marquee matchup. So, we've knocked out the first one. We will open these packs as well. Um, again, if we can get anything that can go into any of these SBCs, so we need like 82s, 83s and stuff like that, then it'll, then it'll kind of all help. Obviously, when we go and have a look at the footies winner in a bit, again, you will notice that that SBC is a lot cheaper than what the Danny Alves is, but you end up getting a higher rated card. So when you look at a few in a row, you might think, hang on, that Danny Alves isn't necessarily so much of a good deal if we're only going to use him for SBC fodder. Now, I'm not saying it's not a good deal in terms of the card, because the card's a good card if that's the way that you like your right backs. And what is it coming in at? 50, 55k or something like that. For that kind of card, it's a good deal. However, for us, for SBC fodder, is it worth paying 50, 55k for a 90? Um, possibly, possibly. But if it means that we're then having to use a lot of our cards and then we, if something good comes out like later on in footies, we have to then actually purchase the value of that to get that card, if that makes sense. Then blasting all of our cards on just a 90 rated Danny Alves possibly isn't the greatest idea but like i've said we're going to leave it a few days see how we go see what things stack up and see where we can go from there so that's marquee matchups done we do open the packs first up we've got a premium gold so we don't get anything amazing in that we've only, we haven't submitted a lot of high rated cards in this week's marquee matchup so there's a lot of bronzes and stuff like that we didn't have to purchase any cards everything's all pack pulled so it hasn't cost us any extra coins per se but unfortunately we don't get anything in that pack next one do can we get anything decent in this one unfortunately we can't get anything major we do get boards and it ends up being an 83 rated goalkeeper now overall 
though, this pack isn't too bad because of the way that certain cards are elevated in price thanks to certain SBCs. So Trippier's quite high and Pickford's quite high, so we end up getting a little bit of coinage out of that. We've then got two rare Electron Players packs to open, um, so we open the first one again. If we can get some high rated silvers that are valuable in League SBCs, that's great. Although the League SBC grind there's not a lot of people still doing that now at the moment. Um, so obviously the price of the cards have absolutely plummeted quite a lot. But we don't get anything majorly expensive in that pack, unfortunately. And then on to the next Rare Electrums pack. Can we get anything decent in that? We can't. So, so far for the four packs that we've got, we've still got the overall pack to open. We only really managed to get one board, which isn't the greatest output from this week's marquee matchups, but we didn't have to pay much to do it. It was all pack poor players, so I suppose that isn't too bad. But overall for this, you do end up getting a 50k pack. But before we open that, let's clear a few things off the trade pile. English, Man United, Brazilian players, stuff like that. They're all going for a little bit slightly elevated prices. So we sell a couple of Luke Shaw's and a Neres. Um, while they're around about 3k and stuff like that so we do have a 50k pack which is the overall reward for this week's marquee matchup so can we get our first special card can we no we can't unfortunately we do get boards so that's the second boards from this week's marquee matchups and we end up getting an 84 rated card not too bad now that card there might end up being better inside of the Danny Alves or if we decide to do the footies winner that was released last night but again like I've said we're going to save it and we're going to see where we go from there we've also uh, managed to get some absolutely fire and I'm talking fire objectives this week we'll go and have a look at those in a moment but you can see Juve players are majorly elevated so we end up selling for 6-6 six, six and 6k and all that we're still trying to sell that Trippier so onto the fire weekly objectives no let's hold back and have a look at the SBCs first before we went to the fire ones then so we're going to have a look at the SBC of course it was Neto that ended up winning so I've already discussed you know discussed about the possibilities of doing the Danny Alves flashback so it's an 83 rated squad with an inform to get a 90 rated card back now this Neto ends up being much better value for money if it's SBC fodder because you only need to submit an 82 rated squad with a team of the week. So like I've said, we're going to hold on, see how we go. But so far that Neto for what you have to bang out is fantastic and would be a great card for SBC fodder. I'm sure a few people might use him here and there because he's slightly OP, um, but he won't be getting into our team again. It'll be SBC fodder. So we've got Danny Alves we might do uh, and we might end up doing the footies win a shot stopper in Neto as well but we're waiting for those big boy cards to come out will a Pogba come out will a massive massive card come out well yes two massive cards on this week's weekly objectives first off we have the the most ultimate super sub in the last three years of FIFA Alessandrini you just need to win three squad battles with 11 MLS players on uh, world class I believe it is um, and then Kimpembe who looks absolutely brilliant. We'll go and have a look at the cards in a minute. And then we've also got three uh, foot swap deals players as well. But the two footiest cards that they've chosen for this week's weekly objectives in Alessandri Alessandrini and Kimpembe are, are fire, man. They are really, 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 really good. There's a lot of people out there that probably won't have a centre-back, even at this stage of the game, that looks as good as what that Kimpembe does. So, GG... They don't look majorly too hard. We should be okay. The only one that's a slight bit of an issue is the Spanish goals for us because I don't think we have a decent Spanish striker anywhere in the club. But again, it depends on how your club set up because for us, League One is, is quality because of Umbop and stuff like that. So the Alessandrini, of course, he's four-star, four-star, one of the most OP super subs in the last couple of years. And he looks good again, man. He does look really, really good again. 91 stamina, 94 acceleration, 98 sprint speed, fantastic agility, fantastic balance, 89 composure, great ball control, great dribbling. He looks an absolute superb card. But for me, the fire one out of those two is this. This looks really, really good, man. Uh, 83 pace, 87 um, sprint speed. He's got all of the boxes ticked. He's got great composure. He's got decent balance. He's got decent agility, decent... Whilst I say decent, superb reactions at 95. 
fantastic ball control at 94, 88 stamina, 85 jumping, an anchor or a shadow or something on this and this card is fire like i've said if you see some of the teams that we do come up against there's people that are still rocking center backs that are worse than this so these weekly objectives are absolutely fantastic right then so that is it for today's video so we've got ronaldo into the team for a hell of a lot of money uh hopefully he plays all right but i think this weekend it's going to end up being figuring out how people play uh, and where we want the, the, the players to play best and stuff like that. So I think it'll probably end up being another goal two weekend because my desire to push hard to get an elite finish just isn't there, unfortunately. Um, and that's why coming up, we'll be taking a little bit of a break as well. Weekly objectives look absolutely superb. Let me know what you think about them. But for now, we are out of here. Thanks for watching, my friends. Catch you in a bit.